they would call me Vince Hazard. They want me to wear this not so dangerous vest just to guide some boring slow traffic? Being dangerous is way better than being on time. I disagree. I'm the one applying for danger enterprises. I mean, it's the perfect job for me. I really, really, really hope I get this job at Danger Enterprises. I mean, so far, they had me complete three missions, and I feel like I made them even more dangerous. <sighs> like, the first week, they sent me on a city bus ride to grab some canned goods and deliver them to the M1 bins here at the church. Now, I know I was a little late, but that was only because I attempted to take the more dangerous route on the Greyhound bus. And I think they were pretty impressed by that. And I was still able to complete the mission by doing the volunteer work with Community Connect. And I know the following week I was late to the training at Blue Hole, but I still jumped in and explored the waters like they asked. Plus, I was able to give them some shark footage so they could see how dangerous I can be. And the last week I was finally early, but then I was a little late and missed the traffic control training. So I asked my friends here at Sagebrush to help me fix that. So overall, I think they'll be pretty impressed by my dangerous approach each week. But this week, you're gonna follow the strict instructions, right? Um. Hannah. Danger! No, no danger. Just follow the instructions. But without danger, I'm just Hannah. And what's Danger Enterprises without a little danger? Have you ever thought that maybe not following the instructions and being late is putting you in danger of not getting this job? Oh, well, when you put it like that, that's not the danger I want in my life. Good, so follow the instructions this week like you said you would last week. Okay. Oh, it looks like my final mission just came in. Nice, what is it? Hmm, it looks pretty easy. Do not add danger. Well, lucky for me, this week is choose your own adventure. What does that even mean? I get to choose a place that describes me, then take some selfies and tell them why I chose that place. Oh, is there any kind of time limit? Um, I just have to have it submitted by 3 p.m. and they said they would choose the final candidate by 5 p.m. Oh, do you have a place in mind? I sure do. You do? Yes, a place that overlooks the city. A place that defines my very nature. A place where it all started. It was like it was yesterday. Danger. No, it was so long ago. But that's a great choice for your final mission. Why, thank you, Vince. That's why I have to have this job for Danger Enterprises. The hike up there is very dangerous, but that's okay, because it's the perfect job for me, Hannah Danger. Applying for Danger Enterprises. And now it's time for me to start my final mission. Oh, and you should probably pray. Ooh. One final mission prep later. Well, this is where it all began. This is where I became Hannah Danger. Now let's see if this Hannah Danger has what it takes to work for Danger Enterprises. One final mission completed later. Not a very dangerous mission this week, but it's all done now. Now it's time to sit and wait for Danger Enterprises to pick me, as I know they will. One not so dangerous hour later. Oh, is that Danger Enterprises? <gasps> it is them! I can't wait to see my name on there! Congratulations!
congratulations to everyone who completed all four missions this past month. Everyone did a great job. Yeah, thank you. And some of us <coughs> even did a dangerous job too. Here at Danger Enterprises, we're all about helping others and fighting against the dangers of the world. It was difficult to pick just one person for the job, but we have made our decision and the job goes to Hannah Dangerous of Dallas, Texas? What? Hannah Dangerous? Ugh, are they joking? She literally did some evil things just a few months ago. I cannot believe this. Hey there, Hannah Danger from Danger Enterprises. Very funny. I didn't even get the job. What? Really? I'm sorry, Hannah. Yeah. This is really bad. You didn't even correct me by saying danger. And you want to know who got the job instead? Yeah. Who? Yes. Uh, your dad, Tom Cook? What? No. Well, I have no clue. Who? Hannah Dangerous! Wait, really? That's what I said! She's like the most evil person I know! Well, she was evil. But remember, we, well, really you, helped her see those evil ways, so she changed. Yeah, I guess, but I'm still upset! I know, but you should be happy for her. Well, I'm not very happy at the moment. I understand. Just. Take some time to think and pray about it, okay? Okay, bye. Ah! Ouch. This has got to be pretty difficult for Hannah Danger. And it's kind of how our friend Jonah in the Bible felt too. A few weeks ago, we saw how Jonah disobeyed God and went a completely different direction than God asked him to go. He was supposed to go to Nineveh and warn the people to turn from their sins, but he got on the ship and sailed for Tarshish instead. Then God caused a crazy storm to happen and the sailors on the ship figured out it was all Jonah's fault. So they threw him overboard and the storm stopped and we learned we can't hide from God. Then we saw how God rescued Jonah by sending a giant fish to swallow him and he was inside the fish for three whole days. That's when Jonah finally decided to pray, and we learned God is always ready to hear our prayers. God had the fish spit Jonah back on dry land where he was safe, and God asked Jonah again to go to Nineveh and deliver his message. This time, Jonah went and did as God asked, and we learned it's never too late to obey God. God had Jonah tell the people about their coming destruction because of the bad things they were doing. When the people heard this message, they believed God and stopped doing their evil ways. God saw this change and the people of Nineveh were saved. That sounds pretty awesome, right? Well, it was awesome, but Jonah didn't think so. Let's see how he reacts. This change of plans greatly upset Jonah and he became very angry. So he complained to the Lord about it. Didn't I say before I left home that you would do this, Lord? That is why I ran away to Tarshish. I knew you are a merciful and compassionate God, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. You are eager to turn back from destroying people. Just kill me now, Lord. I'd rather be dead than alive if what I predicted will not happen. Okay, what? That's why Jonah ran away? He knew God would save the people of Nineveh and he didn't want him to? That sounds pretty mean, right? Well, the people of Nineveh were very evil, and Jonah didn't think they deserved to be saved because of how evil they were. Let's see how God responds to Jonah. The Lord replied, is it right for you to be angry about this? God wanted Jonah to really think about what he was feeling. I mean, the people of Nineveh are people just like any of us and deserve to be saved. Let's see what Jonah does next. Then, Jonah went out to the east side of the city and made a shelter to sit under as he waited to see what would happen to the city. And the Lord God arranged for a leafy plant to grow there. And soon it spread its broad leaves over Jonah's head, shading him from the sun. This eased his discomfort. 
and Jonah was very grateful for the plant. But God also arranged for a worm. The next morning at dawn, the worm ate through the stem of the plant so that it withered away. And as the sun grew hot, God arranged for a scorching east wind to blow on Jonah. The sun beat down on his head until he grew faint and wished to die. Death is certainly better than living like this, he exclaimed. Then God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry because the plant died? Yes, Jonah retorted, even angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you feel sorry about the plant, though you did nothing to put it there. It came quickly and died quickly. But Nineveh has more than 120,000 people living in spiritual darkness, not to mention all the animals. Shouldn't I feel sorry for such a great city? God was reminding Jonah how he cares for all people. God wants to give all of us a chance, even people who do evil things like Hannah Dangerous used to. But just like the people of Nineveh, she turned away from her evil and turned to God. That's why, no matter what someone has done, we should be happy when people turn to God. Hey. Hey, how you doing? <sighs> I'm a little better. I was standing at the door hearing you talk about Jonah, and you're right. I should be happy for Hannah Dangerous, especially since she's changed from her evil ways and follows God now. Well, good. I'm glad you feel better about it. <sighs> yeah, and I need to stay confident in God and who I am. So I'm gonna call Hannah Dangerous right now and tell her congratulations. That's great. I got this. And more importantly, God's got this. Hannah Danger, back in action. Wow, I'm glad Hannah Danger was finally able to get a hold of her emotions after finding out she didn't get the job at Danger Enterprises. But I wonder if Jonah ever did. You see, we all have emotions and in fact, God gave them to us. The Bible says there's a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance. So we all feel these things, but the question is, what do we do when we feel them? How do we react? Well, we are all gonna find out next time we're together as we begin a new series called React. We can't wait to see you then. Take care, Kids Planet.